in addition to the fire alarm installation. The third category when it comes to fire alarm is fire alarm service. And I would say fire alarm service is like number two when it comes to fire alarm installation because there's a lot of breaks and repairs. There's a lot of fixes. There's a lot of false alarms and things happen. Water break, we may have some pipes that break and then they get to a smoke detector and now the, the zone short out and the whole system is an alarm. There could be a bunch of different things that happen. So usually we will have our own clients that call us for service work. In addition to we build service work off the top of the maintenance contract. So if we see any issues like the batteries are going dead or dirty uh, smoke detector that's too dirty, it will cut itself off. When it's usually at 80%, it actually cuts itself off. So if we notice these things, we then create service. And then we also get a lot of phone calls from, you know, leads that come into our office or phone calls from other buildings or other building managers that need service for their system. Whatever the situation is with their existing company, they're calling us to help them out when it comes to service. So the fourth category is fire alarm monitoring. And just the same as anything else, we put them in a contract after we install the system and get it approved by the fire department, or we will get the phone call where we have to set up a monitoring contract with these clients so we can monitor their system. But generally we're monitoring the fire alarm system. So if anything happens to the fire alarm system, meaning if there's a smoke detector that go off, pull station that has been pulled, a duct detector, any type of alarm event that is caused by the fire department, that signal would be sent to the central station. So that way they can relay that message over to the fire department and they can get there within a few minutes and put the fire out. Or if there's just, you know, a nuisance alarm, they're just going to write that building on up. Now, the fifth category of the fire alarm is we help remove fire alarm violations. And when it comes to violations, there's usually a, in a sense where there's a system that's been in the building for since the 1970s and it's never been updated. And being at the fire department, don't have hundreds of guys running around in the city. When they get to a building, at the time they get to a building, they're gonna inspect that building. And when they inspect that building, if it's not up to code, they're gonna write you up. And then a lot of times you will have to get that system up to code. So we will remove those violations. Or if you ever had worked with a company that fixed the problem in a fire department and a fire marshal just kept giving you, you know, letter of defect, letter of defect, letter of defect until it turned into a violation. And then you looking for someone new to help you clear those violations up we can help you clear those violations up as well. Now, the seventh way we make money under fire alarm is expediting services. A lot of times dealing with um, the fire department, things don't move as fast as we would like it to. It's, it's, it just doesn't move as fast as we would like it to. There's more requests for fire alarm approval from the drawings, from the design, the plan examiner can only do but so many in a day. So it's hard to get paperwork moved fast. So in order for us to get the paperwork moved fast, we hire an expediter. And the expediter has a great relationship with the people at the fire department. Whatever they do on their side, I have no idea what they do. All I know is when I submit paperwork, if I ask for a week or two weeks, I usually get it in the time frame that I ask for. It. So we also provide expediting services. Now the eighth way we get money is like I said, when the fire department is dispatched to your facilities, rather it be for an actual emergency or for a false alarm, they're gonna write you up if it's a false alarm, especially if they get there two times, three times, four times, they're gonna write you up and they're gonna give you a violation. So what we would do is you would call us, we would actually come service the system, clean out the smoke detector or actually replace whatever the issue is, we will fix it. Then what we will do is write a letter stating that against the violation that you got, we will write a letter stating that we service the system, we correct the system and the system is now in normal operation. We will put that information into the letter, give that to the client. So that way when they go to court against the violation, they have some like to stand on and hopefully they may not have to pay any fees or anything like that. I haven't heard that a client paid any fees from after any of my letters after doing this for seven years. I could only see that they would pay a fee as if I would write a letter and then a week or two later, we, we having the same issue again. So that doesn't happen because I actually go out there and I actually fix these problems. So I haven't seen or experienced any customer giving me any backlash stating that they had to pay an X amount of money for whatever fines that they incurred from the fire department. The ninth way I make money within my fire law category is through consultation. And we help people along the way when it comes to getting your fire alarm system initially designed, selecting a contractor, the installation process, the commissioning process, the programming process, the 
monitoring process and also what you need to do and have when it comes to requesting an inspection. So we give you the whole entire process and even after the process, because once you have the final inspection and they give you your letter of recommendation, there's still one more thing you have to do after that. And that one more thing is you need a certificate of occupancy and that way the system is fully installed and now you can actually open your building, do business and the things that you need to do without being shut down because you have a fully functional fire alarm system, a fully fully functional gas system. You have everything that the building needs to function as a building. So now the last thing, which is the 10th thing and how we generate income within fire alarm is through actual sales. And when it comes to sales, we generate our income from either the installation, the service, or the maintenance that creates the service. So those are the 10 ways that I get money within my business under the just a fire alarm category. Now, when it comes to those other subcategories, there are other services that we provide as well. There are also access control, intercom systems, burglar alarm systems, smart home automation. And that's also for residential and that's also for business. And it's also CCTV systems. We install camera systems also for residential and also for business. So the video cloud monitoring, the digital burglar alarm monitoring. So these are all the avenues in which we created in order to generate income for our business. Now, it wasn't easy actually setting all of these things up because each different product and service that we actually provide, we're setting up a campaign for each one. Now, I don't have all of them set up. As I was running a business, these are some of the services and some of the ways that I was making money, which came to a thought to my head, why not I just create an actual service for that, put it on my website, so that way the people out there already know that I provide this service and now I have the avenue, I have the funnel, and I have everything structured in order for it to to work that way. So when it comes to fire alarm, we make very good money when it comes to those products and services under fire alarm. And also we do very well when it comes to card access, cameras, and a burglar alarm system. Our goal is to actually get into the homes of the people across the world so we can protect the people across the world. Not like those other companies where everyone just become a number, but we actually trying to grow our family where we can help you live a better life. My name is Anthony Richardson. I'm the president of Secure Securities Corp. I appreciate you for watching this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Peace. It took me a long time to figure out the little obstacles that I had to figure out and to actually get to where I'm at today. Sometimes I often think I'm not even in a good place and whatnot, but I actually did very well over these course of seven years. I was able to make almost $4 million. So with that, I made a bunch of mistakes. And if you want to learn about the five top mistakes that I made, watch that here. But if you want to learn about the top five mistakes I've made, watch that here.